I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn them what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i am back again with another motherfucking video y'all do my scorpio don't be letting people bait you okay because and I'm not trying to be mean, but you know, you know when this, when you, and I'm not judging nobody. Please don't think I, cause I don't want to judge anyone, but you know, we're here to do about the car. So if you see girls and, and they got, they doing what they want to do. Cause they are their own women. If they want to show you their breasts, if they want to show you their body parts and stuff, it's okay. But this is supposed to be a place that is you know a clean and healthy fun place you know we're not supposed to be like trying to show you our areolas and stuff but if if a goddess wants to do that she's well within rights okay so i mean i don't know it's crazy okay so just when i saw that i really just thought about you know dudes so you know be careful being baited by people who talk about being spiritual and stuff like that but they like got their titties out on the screen and they got their booty out on the screen because they really like baiting you they want some attention okay and we really just supposed to be helping y'all masculines not really you know making it soft porn okay so what's up i just gotta ring the bell again to get that shit off okay all right scorpio let's see what song is crowning us for today for my Scorpios. What's up? Okay. Scorpio, y'all can have a lot of opportunities coming to y'all. Y'all need to take them. Okay. It says Celine Dion, my heart will go on. Damn. Okay. So we got near, far, wherever you are. Okay. When I tell you, my mama used to play this shit. Okay. I believe that my heart does go on. Once more, you open the door and you are here in my heart and my heart will always go on and on. So, Scorpio, you out here singing on a boat, nigga, okay? So, you feel like no matter what, you really do love this person, okay? And you believe that, you know, they're in your heart. And even though they ass ain't going to be with you, because remember, Jack fell off the boat, okay? <laughs> or the door, whichever one you want to say. And she always loved Jack, you know? Even though Jack was at a distance, he was in heaven, her heart never left Jack. So, you know, this person may not have passed away. For some of you guys, you are a widow. You know what I'm saying? And your heart always belonged to your husband or your boyfriend or this guy who got shot at a very early age. And you really fuck with this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, even in spirit, this person is helping you and guiding you. For some of you, this person is very much alive and you very much so love them, Scorpio. But you know that your heart has to go on because this person may not be treating your heart with love and compassion, okay? But that don't stop you from loving a nigga. You know what I'm saying? All right? So, you know, your heart is still going to go on. You really love this person. You really, really do. But, you know, in that song, it was a big-ass diamond, too. So, somebody could have, like, diamonds, okay? Damn. Okay, so, Scorpio... This could be somebody that you want to be in a relationship with, but yeah, mm -hmm, look at that shit. All right, so our two songs is We Belong Together and Lil John and the East Side Boy Boys featuring Usher and Ludacris with Lovers and Friends. So this is basically saying that Scorpio, you are in love, okay? I'm talking about infatuation, okay? But you also have a logical mind and you realize that this motherfucker could be playing with your time, nigga, okay? Because this says Lil John sometimes want to be your love. Of us. sometimes want to be your friends sometimes want to hug hold hands slow dance while the record spins open up my heart because you make me feel so comfortable you used to play back with me now you all grown up like broody hugstable okay so this is basically saying like you look good hair's yours you know pretty as fuck nice feet cute nails sexy as hell edge up smooth male good lotion right nigga take care of his shit he could cook his mama raised him right okay and it's just a lot of truth here you can chill with this person you like this person you can vibe with this person y'all can dance where there's no music playing or you could dance in the house and play music and it's just cool it's a vibe okay 
um you could also play fight you know but it ain't real play fight and it's really more so like i just want to you know beat you smack you love you touch you bite you some of y'all like biting that's to be careful because that could leave some stains there okay it says i do anything just to make you feel just okay it says i do anything just to feel your butt okay so this person may like when you hit they butt smack they butt like they butt walk around with they butt okay why you got me so messed up i don't know what you got to stop tripping okay so you could trip a lot on this person this person could do a lot of things that get on your nerves okay but this person want to be your lover and they want to be your friend okay but you could have to let this motherfucker go because it could be not conducive now i'm gonna be honest it says we belong together i didn't mean it when i said i didn't love you so so you could have been like you know what i don't know what the fuck going on with us but i ain't fucking with it you know how scorpios be we be like you know what it's confusing we gonna drop that shit okay so this person was like, look, you know, I didn't mean it when I said I didn't love you. You know what I'm saying? Because you do love the person, but, you know, maybe they did something or there was some kind of miscommunication between you and this person, Scorpio, because you feel like, you know, you you should have never held so tight. You should not ever really let you go. I didn't know nothing. I was stupid. I was foolish. I was lying to myself. So I feel like, Scorpio, somebody fumbles you, okay? They really love you and they know that you're going to move on because their behavior may not be up to par. But they're going to feel very regretful for doing so. And this is somebody that you presented a lovers and friends opportunity to, okay? And I feel like they're going to fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? And they was lying to themselves about how they could really invest, but they couldn't invest in that time. And they fumbled you, okay? And it says, be without your love. Never imagine myself sitting here beside myself. So somebody is going to really realize, like, they shouldn't have did this. This is just dumb. But, you know, don't beat yourself up. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to always be another chick. I mean, they ain't going to be a Scorpio, but it's going to always be somebody else, okay? But, you know, it, it be like that. Sometimes when you get good opportunities, you have to get them. But sometimes people don't understand when they have a good opportunity. Damn. All right. So we belong together. So somebody's going to keep returning to a snake or a snake is going to get their head chopped to clear off. Competition, envy, clever, mysterious, looking over your shoulder and the other woman in karmic relationship. So we belong together. So this person is letting go of the karmic relationship. They realize that this other woman is a snake or this other man is a snake. And it's a karmic relationship. It's toxic. It's not pure. I think Scorpio, when we belong together, this person chose a toxic relationship or to keep investing in one. Okay. But they're realizing that's not a good decision. Okay. And you can only know when you have something good, when something good shows up. Because you're like, oh, shit. I had Dunkin' Donuts, but then you like, bitch, I ate Kripty Kreese. Nah, I, I can't fuck with Dunkin' Donuts because you had something better. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to knock Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme, but you know when you see a Krispy Kreme donut, you can't let that shit pass. You be like, do you got another one? Damn, nigga, you should have brought some for the class. Okay? So whoever this is, they realize that you solid. You know what I mean? You're not a snake. You're not envious. You're not jealous. You just stay in your own fucking lane. And somebody is really like, damn, I really fumbled somebody like this. You know what I'm saying? And I shouldn't have did that. All right? Uh, but your heart went on. You really love this person, but you was like, I can't be part of this shit. You could have dropped this nigga in the ocean. You could have did some kind of ocean ritual to let this person go. Something is significant about your pictures, okay? The pictures that you take, the pictures that you're in, okay? They look at these pictures. They reminisce about it, all right? And they, they keep memories in they, in they a phone. So this also could mean like... This person has a lot of pictures of this girl naked, her ass naked, you know, her looking stuff, none on her face. Somebody got a lot of nasty ass pictures of somebody in their phone and they like, uh-uh, take those pictures of me out of my, out of your phone, out of your phone. I like you in reverse, okay? So this person feels like the reason why you could just easily let them go, Scorpio, is because you don't really fuck with them. You don't really like them, okay? And they don't like that. It says somebody likes you, romance, blossoming, fun times, flirting, and want to go on a date. This is somebody who didn't take you on a date, didn't flirt with you, didn't take you they loved you okay and they didn't really even tell you they liked you like that it's in reverse okay scorpio so you could have did all those things you could have told a person that you love them you could have person that you like them you wanted to romance them you wanted to flirt with them you could have told them you wanted to go on dates and that's why your heart will go on baby okay because you had to let this go you had to drop this nigga in the ocean something is very significant about the ocean you know somebody commented under my messages and was like ashley I got to go see this nigga and I got to get on a boat. He live in Scotland and we got to take... I'm like, that's a lot. That's some dedication to go see a nigga and travel on a boat. Anything could happen to you on the boat. Like a fish could come and push you over on a boat. I mean, I don't know. I don't know because I don't travel to go see nobody on a boat. But that was deep, girl. That was deep. I read that one. 
all right lovers and friends so this person is really gonna miss you scorpio because you know how you could chill with somebody smoke with somebody hang with somebody talk to somebody have deep intellectual conversations with somebody it's so hard for you to get that okay but somebody had that and fumbled it with a hoe that's just really what this is saying girl talk okay scorpio you about to be non-single okay you about to be off the market somebody really wants to be with you and they want to make you happy all right you're gonna be happily in a relationship you're gonna be hanging out with this person and chilling with this person this person is gonna really like you and love you scorpio okay y'all can have a lot of times where y'all understand each other with career and friendships okay that's so good you know a lot of my past relationships, niggas be jealous. I had one relationship where it was like great financially as far as like working together as a team. And when you can work together as a team with somebody, I feel like entrepreneurs need to be with entrepreneurs and nine to fivers need to be with nine to fivers. Okay, that's too many. All right, I'm not doing all that. All right, so just give me one card about finances for my Scorpios. Okay, so yeah, a lot of you guys are getting really mature about your finances. Like you're tracking like where is my finances going? What am I spending my money on? And that's really good because once you find a route to your addiction, you can move better. Okay, so you're becoming more mature in handling your finances. You're taking responsibility of your existing challenges and you're going to be very dependable. A lot of people are going to be looking to you to get a loan. Don't loan people money unless like you know their work ethic or you know what I'm saying? you can loan people money i'm not against that but there are other ways that you don't have to do that okay you also have assistance so scorpio like i told you on the other videos you may be somebody's assistance you might need to tell somebody about your situation so you can get some assistance but there are some resources that you have overlooked that can help you resolve your financial issues so someone is willing to help you recover from whatever fucking situation that you're going through right now okay yeah so you had to make some adjustments with your financial your financial situation you need to reevaluate where you're allocating your funds to and you also have clever working smart gets the work done focus on the basis to get best solutions sometimes you just need to keep it simple so you could be like i gotta do this i gotta do that when spirit is just telling you sit your ass down and clean up your house sit your ass down and wash your dishes sit your ass down and vacuum your floors okay once you tackle those simple things vacuuming folding up clothes making things are organized things will also become clear in your mind as well sometimes you ain't got to do so much sometimes you just got to do something clever clean up okay and also get a plant a bamboo plant all right, so let me see how this person feels about you, Scorpio. All right, so this person feels like they're very obsessed with you, okay? And it's because they, they knew they lost the real one. It, I don't know why this keeps coming up, but sometimes, you know, niggas don't know when they got something good. Sometimes females don't know when they got a good nigga. And now they're just secretly obsessed with you. Uh, they think about you a lot. They think about all the times they talk to you uh, on the phone. They also stalk you on social media and they hope to run into you. But this person never know. They know they ain't never. They don't. Y'all don't go to the same places. Y'all don't chill in the same places. This person fantasizes about you a lot. You are their fantasy. They have a lot of pictures and videos saved to you. I told you somebody was looking at some videos and stuff. Like somebody was like, sent a pussy pic and titty pic and all this stuff. And they're like, can you delete that stuff? Why you send it? I don't know why girls be sending their pussy through the computer and stuff. What happened if they lose their phone? Like, what's up, okay? Niggas be sending dick pics too. Whoever this is, it's the same person. This person is obsessed with you. They fantasize about you. It's the same color. You're my soulmate. So they thought somebody else, they had a strong bond with them, but they didn't, okay? They feel like they have a strong bond with you, and that's why they feel like they're so obsessed with you, and they fantasize about you. And they feel like... um this person could be messing with three different men or three different women all right somebody could be heavy about their eyebrows somebody could have really long hair and wear lipstick that is red maybe even brown somebody wear hoop earrings as well somebody recently had on a black shirt somebody had on a choker somebody wore a, a watch on their left hand with a brown band okay somebody also have curly hair as well um brown hair blonde hair um as well okay Somebody also went somewhere with a shopping bag that was black, but it was like, it was a paper bag, but it was black with brown handles on it. Yeah, so somebody feels like you're the woman of their dreams. They fantasize about you. They're obsessed with you. They really love you. They want to be free with you. They just, they love you, okay? And they thought they had this infatuation with another woman or another man but they just realized like that person is not their soulmate and it's not written in the stars for them to be with them but they was wow they was sexual and they was freaky okay and sometimes niggas like that okay sometimes bitch be like i like what he do when he do whatever he doing behind there i'm like oh don't tell me that tanisha okay i don't know who name that is but yeah somebody just like somebody freaky side somebody like that they was just nasty but they thought this was love but it wasn't it was just lust and nastiness you know some 
Some females will do whatever you ask, okay? We can do whatever you like. Some niggas do that too. I'm like, damn, you doing that on everybody? You're like, ugh. Okay, so be careful. Be careful out there, Scorpios, because some some niggas will do it for everybody. You'll be like, ooh, it's a free-for-all. All right, y'all. I love you guys. See y'all next time. Bye. Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. Huh? And they rule by planet Mars. They stay determined, then don't go. go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, because like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. That's they appreciate the ones they love. They ain't worth the fake shit. Uh -uh. They don't really like people switching up. Uh -uh. And they can't be kind of controlling like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut Scorpios up. are leaders, and they always think ahead. And they also open-minded, so you got Gotta give them credit. Give them. If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy. They also like a meal, so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like uh -huh. Yours are often trendy and they got the best drip. And they do not disappoint, man. You just gotta tap in. Tagging shit is video to a Scorpio. You